Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let's get in non-patentable matters. Let's get in. So non-patentable matters are nothing but what? The patents which you want, claim that you should get patent, but you will not get them. Uh, they are not, you know, patentable. Okay, in the Patent Act in 1970, there are some exclusions which are made, okay, some products and processes which you cannot, uh, cannot be patented. For example, there are some of the examples are mentioned here. First one, invention contrary to public morality. Imagine you are, uh, since, uh, what is the basic requirement for patent? Something, it should be novel, it should have a use case, it should have that, uh, you know, uh, industrial case, use case at least and all. Imagine, since the eligibility needs, you cannot go doing something very bad, okay? That is what? One example is human cloning. Since you have scientific advancement, since you know that it is a new thing, since you know all these things, you cannot go for human cloning, okay? Or, or any um, method for gambling, all these things comes under what? Something which hurts public morality or which destroys public morality in order to save or in order to uh, what do you say maintain the uh, the proper public morality yeah, uh, the code of law has to you know uh, i mean they have made few rules in patent act in 1970 that these kind of products or processes cannot be patented because they are going to affect the public morality. Next, made discovery. It should be, it should be imagined that something they did and it's like, hey, this was there earlier. Hey, we knew this. That kind of obviousness should not be there. Finding a new microorganism. Okay. Imagine you find a new microorganism in the nature and you cannot patent it. You cannot, you can claim that it is yours. Okay, with the Kahnam rights and all, but you cannot say that you you cannot patent. Okay, then loss of gravity, loss of gravity also you cannot patent. Next, may discovery of a new form of known substance. Law of gravity was 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 invention, but it was not patented. Understanding, it cannot be. You can say that. If you are falling from, uh, you know, if you are, if the water is, I mean, if you are throwing something uh, from upside to down or from uh, from top to down, you should take permission from the Newton. No, understanding. You know how silly it looks. So male discovery also can be uh, cannot be in this thing. So loss of gravity also cannot be patented. So male discovery of new form of known substance. Imagine. Uh, a particular uh, this thing is there aspirin aspirin for heart treatment okay you can use it the aspirin was patented for uh, reducing fever and mild pains but you can use it for aspirin for heart treatment so here now you cannot claim that earlier aspirin was used for fever and mild pains now i'm going to use it for heart so i want to patent it that cannot be done so made discovery of a new form of a known substances. Aspirin new form, you can use it for clear heart treatment. Earlier it was used for fever. So now just because you found the new use case, you can you cannot say that uh, you'll go for patenting. Okay. So next uh, frivolous invention, like silly invention, like a uh, dog, or you can say the mixture of the flour, water and the yeast or something like that. And you can say that I am mixing something, so many things, I will patent this, no. And also, which are supplemented with herbs, all, all those things you cannot patent, are merely changing the taste of the drug, okay. After doing all these changes, it will have not much change, only the small changes will be there in the taste, okay. All these things can be come under silly invention or uh, frivolous invention that cannot be patented. Next, 100 years calendar, okay. You cannot patent it. Bus timetable. These are some of the silly inventions. What I can say. You cannot say that I prepared this calendar. I should have the patent. I prepared this bus timetable. I should have the patent or this. No, you cannot go for it. That is called non-patentable matters. Okay, the examples. Next, arrangement or rearrangements. You cannot say that uh, uh, you take something and attach. You take umbrella and attach on a 
uh, your bike and say that it is patent, it should be patented. No, and you cannot say that uh, you cannot uh, take a, a, a umbrella and you can f you cannot fit it to the fan and say that it, it should be patented. No, next a torch attached to a bucket also cannot be patented. In fact, examples you cannot take two products and add and just. Uh, what you say add it and say that it should be better next inventions following within section that is 20, 20 of one of the atomic energy act 1962 so all these things uranium beryllium thorium plutonium radium graphite lithium all these compounds related inventions are not patentable okay they are more as notified by the central government from time to time Next is literacy, dramatic, musical, artistic work, these all also cannot be uh, patented if like for if they fall under like the normal books, sculptures, drawings, books, it's your, you only have ownership but you cannot patent it. Next sculptures, uh, next we have drawings, paintings, computer programs, mathematical calculations, online chatting methods, okay, method of teaching, method of learning, uh, language as they are the subject matter of the copyright act 1957 they all comes under subject matter of act 1957 so that's why you cannot patent it okay so those are non-patentable matters next uh, topography of integrated circuits you have ic's right uh, ic circuits in your all the processors those ic's topography you cannot patent because that is uh, fixed and everybody knows it okay protection of a layout okay or uh, designs of ACs is provided separately under the semiconductor integrated circuit layout design act in 2000 so you cannot patent it next plants and animals so plants and animals in a whole or any part of those plants or maybe like seeds uh, or varieties or species or essentially biological processes for the production of the particular plant like hybrid all those things and on propagation of the plants next animals are excluded from the scope of the production under patents these all things are excluded in uh, comes under non-patentable things next traditional knowledge uh, for example imagine Im you just fell and came to your home your grandma used to bring some leaves she used to make some extract and she used to apply for your own if you remember when you are childhood like usually in the 90s or 80s childhood will be remember uh, child uh, ch ch uh, no, uh, born will be remembering all these things they will prepare up some remedy homemade remedy with herbs and all these things okay that is one of the example for traditional knowledge which is uh, the invention which in effect uh, is traditional knowledge or which is aggregations or duplication of the known properties of traditionally known components are also excluded here simply they are talking about the neem extracts the herbal extracts like neem or aloe vera all these things okay so next topic we are having patent infringement that we will discuss in the next class